Well, we're in the presence of a musical maestro here. It's Chantel McGregor. Good morning. Good morning. Yay. Thank you for taking your time out from your what is a very busy schedule with your uh, touring around the UK to come on Ignition Radio. No problem. Thank you for having me. Oh, always a pleasure. Right. Um, now, your musical career. I've had a look at your biography and crikey. Wow. Oh, wow. Big wow. Capital letters. W-O-W. It's just fantastic. Yeah, I've been doing quite a bit. You certainly <laughs> have. Right, now, if we can go back to all those years ago, uh, at the age of eight, you were the youngest person to pass a rock school exam and perform regularly at 12 years old. Now, how did that feel for you? It was brilliant. It was kind of how I was always raised, because my dad used to play guitar when I was on. So as long as I can remember, it was always a case of the guitars around the house and I was sort of like, you know, running up to my dad and detuning things and then it guitars. So, yeah, it was always kind of in my in my home, really. So you had quite a lot of parental influence then? Yeah, definitely. They've supported me, like, all the way. They're brilliant. Yeah. Now, uh, what first attracted you to uh, rock and blues? I think... Probably, again, parental influence, because my dad was always into bands like Free and Led Zeppelin and things, so I'd get into the car and I'd be like, oh, can you play that Free song, and can you play Fleetwood Mac, please? This is like when I was three. So, <laughs> I guess it's always been there. Ah, God, Fleetwood Mac, of course, an iconic band as well, uh, giving you the influence of the music that you play today. Yeah, absolutely, because, I mean, they're still one of my favourite this day and I went to see them on their tour when they came over last time and the time before and what an incredible band. Now what guidance would you give to other potential young rock stars trying to get into the business? I think the main thing is is to be nice. <laughs> I know that sounds silly but learn your craft and be nice to people because you don't know when you're going to need them and you know you'll always meet them on the way back down. Absolutely. Now um, what are your favourite rock and blues artists? Now you just mentioned briefly Fleetwood Mac. Any other artists as have influenced your musical career so far? It's weird actually because I've got so many influences because I don't just listen to rock and blues and things. I listen to absolutely everything so you know I'm a massive fan of Lady Gaga and <laughs> strange as that sounds. Huh. Um, but yeah, I just listen to everything and kind of take a little bit of inspiration from it and it becomes my music. So have you had the privilege of meeting or playing live with any of these bands? I have, yeah. I've met and played live with Joe Bonamassa. Um, and I've met Fleetwood Mac, but I've never played with them. But that would be like, yeah, <laughs> that would be a dream come true. Now, um, let's just turn to your biography for a moment, uh, Chantel. It says uh, that you were told by a major labels that girls don't play guitar like that. Is that why you set up your own record label? It is, yeah, because, um, I mean, we got, we get a few industry people and things going, it's not the dumb thing when you play rock music and stuff like this, and it was kind of like, okay, I'm tired of this now, I want to do what I want to do and play the music that I like, so we'll do it all our own way and set up a label, and that's what we did. And, of course, you have uh, many um, sort of potential artists on your own label now? Not yet, no, but oh. we are thinking of signing other artists and things. So of course. It should be an interesting few years. Now, you were the first woman to win Guitarist of the Year by the British Blues Awards, and you were nominated again in 2015. Uh, surely that would have made major labels uh, sit up and listen. <laughs> I don't know. It's... I think the thing is as well with that genre, because it's kind of very restrictive, you say, not it's blues, so it's not really the, the modern way, so I don't know. <laughs> now, the new album, of course, it's coming out on the 9th of October, uh, called Lose Control, um, again on your own label, as well as being written and produced by yourself. How do you find the time to do this, as well as touring? <laughs> Struggle. I think, <laughs> I think that's the best way of describing it. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's it's hard to find the time because you're always on the road and even just writing songs when you're on the road is the hardest thing in the world because you're sat in a van travelling with a band all day. You can't sit there with a guitar. So it's it's difficult, but you kind of have to take time out from your schedule and just say, okay, well, I'm going to write an album now in this few weeks and then I'm going to record it in... And yeah, that's kind of how it works. Of course, like, you know, when you're touring across the UK and making or playing so many dates, it literally is like living out of a suitcase, isn't it, from day to day? 
It really is, yeah. It's a different hotel every night. Hmm. Now, is there any tracks on the album that are any favourites of yours? I don't know, really, because I like them all for different reasons. Um, I'm probably proudest of Walk on Land because I wanted to write a sort of a really progressive, strange song. And, um, yeah, that one's probably the most complex song that I've written. But I'm quite happy with it all. <laughs> and where can we buy the uh, the forthcoming album? Um, it's available to pre-order from my website as a signed version and also Amazon and all these other places as well um, from the 9th of October. And, of course, your website is... ChantelMcGregor.com. Fantastic. Now, you've played um, many venues over the UK, large and small. Which do you prefer, large or small venues? I tend to prefer the larger venues um, and also sort of standing venues because they're a bit more like a proper gig. Um, I mean, the seated theatres and things are lovely as well, but you get a bit of a better atmosphere when people are stood up and dancing around. Yeah. Now, of course, you've played with the likes of Ed Sheeran and Kylie Minogue. I mean, you know, we're talking uh, music legends here. What, what would they like to work with? Well, it was my producer that's worked with them. Oh. Um, but, yeah, but he's worked with so many fantastic artists like Tina Turner and things like that. So he, he kind of tries to impart some of his knowledge onto me. I don't know if it sticks, but he does. <laughs> <laughs> now, you are coming to the Ark in Stockton this coming Thursday. Have you been to Stockton before? I haven't, no. I'm really looking forward to it. So this is the first time you've been in the Teesside area, or have you been uh, in the North East in general? We've done the North East quite a bit, because we play places like Durham and Hartlepool and things like that, so I always love it up there, because my mum's from up there as well, so it's nice to go up. All oh, right, so when you're up in the North East, do you try and see your mum as well? No, well, oh. she likes to, she goes to see places like um, Whitley Bay, because that's where she was sort of raised as a child, so it's nice to kind of pop up there and go, oh, this is nice. Wow. So, of course, um, you know, you're touring all over the UK. Um, very busy at the moment, aren't you, Chantal? Incredibly, yeah. We've got this four-month tour, and then I can have a little break in January. Wow. So you'll be working over the Christmas period as well? I take Christmas off. Ah. <laughs> I have a bit of downtime at that point. Ah, well, I always say that Christmas should be spent with the family. You know, very traditional. Well, uh, Chantel, it's been absolutely fantastic. And again, I know you're busy, but thank you for taking time out to come and talk to us live here on Ignition Radio. Uh, all the best for the uh, concert this Thursday. Yeah, thank you so much. And uh, uh, great to, to have you on the radio. And, of course, all the best for your tour. Um, you know, sell out crowds. It's going to be fantastic. And thank you for that. Thank you very much. Okay, you take care. You too. All right, bye.